OK, so how are we going to graph now complex numbers? So if I said you know, graph 2i, how am I going to graph that? Because i is imaginary, right? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to call a imaginary plane, all right? So we need to make sure that we're going to have a complex plane. And just like our regular Cartesian coordinates, we're going to have two axes. In this case, though, we're going to have a real and imaginary. And I know you can see it. But that's what we're going to call it, all right? So on the real axis, it's just going to be like any other number line we'd have, where to the right is going to be positive, and to the left is going to be negative. I said negative, and I started wanting to make a negative number. All right, now imaginary is going to be the same just like we would with the y and an x axis. Above is going to be positive, and below is going to be negative. Now, the only difference is, since this is imaginary, this will be 1i, 2i, 3i, 4i. Down here is negative i, negative 2i, negative 3i, and negative 4i. So to go and take a look at this, if I just want to plot 2i, I notice that there is no real component, right? Remember, all complex numbers come in the form of a plus bi. And since there's no a, it would be 0 plus 2i. So I could only plot on my imaginary axis, which is going to be right there. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you graph your complex number. Thanks.